Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Olivia from the Israel Media Tech Home and in today's video I am over the moon excited to share with you guys 30 DIY Dollar Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. Now also don't miss my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. The winner is going to be announced May 15th and all you have to do to enter is to leave a comment below and to subscribe to my YouTube channel which is totally free. Hey listen no matter where you're at keep up the good work and keep putting one foot in front of the other. Literally for me recently I broke my ankle but I'm back in business. So thank you guys for all of your love and support, and prayers, and all of that good stuff. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafty. Let's create a super cute Dollar Tree garden wall hanger for my office on a total budget. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, you're gonna grab two of their garden gates, and then you can take them and just flip them sideways. You can also make this go up and down. I've shared that DIY with you all in the past. Now take a zip tie, you're gonna find the center part of this, and add a zip tie, easy peasy, and you're not gonna see these zip ties, so don't worry about that, I added two to the center and then I added one more to the top to stabilize my little garden piece you can really add as many as you want um, but I felt like three or four really was sufficient now I took a crafting tool and I cut two little slots in these Dollar Tree planters I'm showing you guys using my scissors but really I did use a crafting tool like um, a box cutter now you're gonna take a zip tie push it through the first loop there's two little cuts in that um, 10 and then you're going to thread it through that first um, prong on your garden planter and then thread it back through and zip tie it on the inside so we did that with three different little buckets this you guys can use to add anything to here is how it turns out once you're finished zip tying all of your little buckets now I'm gonna add in some greenery. These are just fern pieces from the Dollar Tree and then some cute little purple lilacs. Pick whatever spring flowers or summer flowers that you love. I mixed in some white and also some greens. My camera was tilted a little bit sideways so it does look a little bit sideways but this is not gonna be its final home. Wait till you see what I'm gonna do with it. I wanted something to jazz up my office space. My office is actually out in my garage. I took and I added some of those little Dollar Tree in beads and then I hung it in the pretty little sign that I had grabbed from Hobby Lobby last season so I have kind of like a collage going in my little office space and here is how it turned out I think it looks so festive and it really gives my space that nice spring garden feel so this is just like a little kind of plaque that it's on the backdrop of and then again my office is in my garage but I did paint it to kind of look like my home and kind of decorate it oh my gosh you guys I've been down on my boot for so long with that broken ankle so I cannot wait to start cleaning things out and give you guys some organizing DIYs as well but I think this is fun and fabulous I hope you try this one you can also flip it sideways and do it exactly the same but just sideways the other way I hope that makes sense happy crafting and I hope you guys try this one Okay, let's create a cute a little garden side table using one of these Dollar Tree $5 garden planters and this Dollar Tree charger. Okay, so in the Dollar Tree Plus section, they have these really pretty little planters. I have a lot of planters already, so I thought, you know what? I need a cute little side table that I can, you know, just hold things on or use as a display piece. So I use some hot glue, but use E6000 glue for um, purposes that are going to be um, more sturdy. This is just for video purposes, but I added this a cute a little charger to it. And then I wanted to share with you guys, you can take these two little Dollar Tree wreaths. Now these were all, these were in the Dollar Plus section. So they were $5 each and you're just going to squinch them together. I think this looks so adorable. And then I'm loving blue for summer with pops of yellow. So I added this little blue vase and it was from Home Goods. It was like $15, I think. Now here's how you can create a Dollar Tree 
lemon branch, you're gonna take and remove um, some baby's breath from the Little Dollar Tree stem. Hot glue your lemon onto the top of the pick and then just slide that piece of greenery up and that is gonna hold it and it's gonna create some little lemons. I found these Dollar Tree lemons last season or it's probably actually been a couple of seasons back. They're in the Dollar Tree crafting section. You wanna check um, as much as you can because they're there and then they're gone. You can also order lemons off of Amazon and you can use a little knife or scissors to poke a hole in the end and then voila you have a fun little lemon branch and for some reason lemons are pretty expensive you guys see them in the home decor stores they're not cheap so if you can find them on a budget at Dollar Tree the thrift store or on Amazon definitely go for it you can also use the Dollar Tree limes the Dollar Tree limes are even better because they come three to a pack for $1.25. So I added one to the end of a firm branch and then another little mismatched branch and boom, we have a fun little summer decor piece. Now I probably will play around and um, stagger the lemons and limes a little bit better, but you guys are getting the drift of what I've got going on here. Okay, so we made that cute little side table. I think these would be fun to use out in um, your garden area, you know, maybe where you have a little seating place Place. You can add a little faux plant, a candle, a little sign. I'm just showing you guys different ways you can kind of decorate this little fun um, side table. You could just go easy peasy and put a nice little lantern on it. You could go crazy like I did with all the lemon scape on that one. Really, the sky is the limit. So here is how this looks. I really love this. I think I loved it better though without the candles, but the candles do add ambiance. And let me tell you, those candles are so inexpensive on Amazon. I've got some to my Amazon store. They're great also for weddings, especially because they're not real candles. I was at my mom's birthday party the other day and she had real candles lit and I accidentally lit a napkin on fire. I was passing a napkin on the table. Anyway, so I love the flickering flameless candles. They're just so much safer for pets, kids, and adults alike. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are loving my little fun garden tree planter table idea. Happy crafting on a budget. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you make a su super easy little wreath on a budget. So I'm grabbing this Dollar Tree lemon wreath that was $5 in the Dollar Tree Plus section. I think it's adorable as is, but if you want to take it and make it fuller, all you have to do is flip one of the loops upside down and just gently push it in to the other side here. So here's how you're gonna do that. You just slide it on top of the other wreath and bam, you have a double full wreath. I know I saw these lemon wreaths at Michael's last year for like $45 or something crazy. Maybe that was before the discount, but I was kind of shocked how expensive their lemon decor stuff was. Maybe it's a little bit better deal now, or maybe I was just shopping before it all went on sale. So here is how that is gonna look. And the next thing we're gonna do is make a super easy little bow. So to make this bow, I'm gonna take a measure from my hand to my wrist and simply loop it over on itself six times. This is my super easy Olivia bow. And I apologize earlier, Benji Bear was barking. I'm sure that the neighbors are um, coming home from school or they're get, get, their dogs are getting let out. But anyway, you're just gonna take that ribbon and loop it over on itself six times. And you can kind of count three on each side with your loops. And then you're gonna take whatever you use to twist it off. I'm gonna uh, cut the tail off and then you'll find the center of this ribbon and you'll just fold it that way you know where the center part is so here we go we're going to fold this right here bam there's your center and then you can take a little zip tie or some floral wire or just whatever suits your fancy and tie that off in the center this is literally the easiest fluffy bow that you'll ever make and when I measured it from my arm to my from my arm to my elbow that was about 12 inches but you can measure it smaller or larger for whatever suits your fancy and honestly I may have needed to have done it a little bit smaller for this wreath but I am going to make it work I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that so I'm going to take a zip tie and just zip tie it on and you can take your loops and kind of rush and zhuzh them and jazz them up and make them just a little bit smaller by kind of tucking them under so see how I'm kind of pulling the loops out and then I give it a little bit 
of a tuck under. And that way it's not completely overtaking the wreath. But I will tell you this. I love big bows and I cannot lie. I am mostly, I would say a Southern girl. Um, you know, um, I'm actually more Midwestern, but I love kind of Southern style, like the big fluffy bows and, you know, curls and all of that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm just a girly girl. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. You could do this also without the bow. The bow is just like an extra and the bow is also just kind of a way that you guys can know how to make a bow. So here is how that turned out. I think it's a fun idea, totally budget friendly. I think it looks pretty high end without doing a whole lot. I'm really right now with my ankle recovery process, trying to show you guys crafts. You can do quick, easy, and on a budget. Summer is coming and we don't wanna be slaving on our crafts. Anyway, a fun, easy project on a budget. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how you can make a super adorable high-end um, decor idea using a Dollar Tree pizza pan. Now I'm using this pizza pan and it is the $5 pizza pan from the Dollar Tree Plus section, but Dollar Tree also has pizza pans. Although I do notice that a lot of times our pizza pans are completely sold out. So check your Dollar Tree Plus section or Walmart also has them as well. Now I'm going to take some of this Dollar Tree wallpaper. I'm just going to add it to the center of the pizza pan and it did take two I want to say slices but this is not slices two panels of the Dollar Tree wallpaper you guys are going to find this at your Dollar Tree I love this adhesive wallpaper it is amazing we're giving our little pizza pan a faux wood look and I'm just going to go ahead and trim this out now originally I made this for you guys during the Easter season and we added an Easter sign but I'm actually sharing with you guys a new way to take this and we're going to make this lemon summer decor so bear with me if you guys have seen me do this and I made it for Easter this is just the original pizza pan and how you create this we're going to take the rope and add the rope on the outside of the pizza pan to kind of cover up the little floppy edges of the pizza pan and also where we added that adhesive wall stuff goodies um so then once we have that done i'm going to add one more piece of rope i felt like it just needed a little bit more um and these were actually two different ropes one was from the dollar tree and one was from the hardware section so again um be careful all also doing this it's very easy to kind of burn yourself okay so here is how it turned out originally with the little hop sign that was for Easter I'm just going to remove that because I just barely kind of hot glued that on I'm gonna take this little yellow lemon wreath this is gonna be kind of a summer wreath that's also from the Dollar Tree it's in their Dollar Tree Plus section I'm gonna lift that bow up and just gently hot glue the bow down on top of where that little wreath topper was I'm then gonna take this lemon um, sign and it says when life gives you lemon make something sweet and I'm a big cheerleader of that I really like to take and make sweet things out of some of the not so sweet things that life gives me now I'm going to add in another little extra lemon doodly dad I felt like it needed a little something at the top of the now let me know what you guys think. I think the brown bow is really pretty, but for some reason with lemons, I always wanna do black and white. So I'm just going to add a black and white ribbon over this. Instead of redoing the entire thing and wasting that brown and white ribbon, I thought we could just layer it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I, th I thought it turned out pretty. I wanna be able to remove the black and white ribbon because I wanna add a red and white ribbon when I do my patriotic decor. And I was gonna share with that with you guys also in this video. And then just my foot started getting tired. So I'm really trying to pace myself with letting that broken foot heal. Here is how it turned out. I think it looks fabulous. It was totally budget friendly. We just zhuzhed up a couple of things, added and removed some things. And there you guys have that cute little, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet idea. Fun and fabulous on a total budget. Let me know what you guys think.
For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super easy little Dollar Tree riser using a Dollar Tree candlestick. I just hot glued around the edge and then I'm adding this cute little Dollar Tree sign. This is in the crafters square section and boom, I have a little dessert stand or riser. I'm going to show you guys some fun ways you can style this starting with these little Dollar Tree Dollar Plus plants and a nice little candle. It is now time to start removing some of my Easter decor and so I want to give you guys some ideas on how you might want to style some of your little side tables. This was another little craft that we made and I apologize my little puppy dog is barking in the background so I'm going to play some music and just let you guys watch me style these in different ways. Here is a fun way to style it again for summer, adding some Dollar Tree lemons and limes, and then that cute little lemon lime arrangement that we made. You could even really go crazy with it and add a lemon wreath. Just get creative with it and have fun with you, fun with it. I feel like these nice pops of blues and yellows are just really nice to have. They're great for a kitchen, a mantle, um, any kind of little space like that. My puppy dog has calmed down, so I'm gonna go ahead and. And talk to you guys and I just want to encourage you guys no matter where you're at to keep going I know that everybody has something going on in their life especially in the last couple of years including myself um, and I'll tell you what you know every day that we wake up and God gives us another day it's just a new day to try to make somebody smile and try to just do a little bit better and have personal development as well um, so here's another fun idea too you can just use the little Dollar Tree riser and add in some of those little plants I love these little plants from the Dollar Tree Plus section they're such a great size they're really durable like they've been knocked around my studio and outside already and then a fun little flickering a flameless candle and you could also add in a cute little lantern again these are also from the Dollar Tree Plus section I feel like they have a really great little section there it kind of reminds me of Dollar General but nothing I don't think anything is over five dollars I haven't really thoroughly explored it again I'm really just trying to take it easy and do a little bit at a time as I let my ankle heal it's almost actually now more painful now that my boot is off um, because I'm now having having to kind of, you know, get used to learning how to walk. And I don't know if you guys have ever injured your ankle or foot, but it, I was in a boot, boot, a walking boot for almost 12 weeks. And I have to actually mentally think about walking, which is a very strange thing, but it's on the men. I have to let you guys know. Now I have to share with you guys also Benji Bear, my little sassy guy, since he was having a fit, he just... <laughs> He sits in the front window, you guys, and if there's squirrels or kids or dogs or an airplane, anything, it doesn't matter. Um, so he's got his little toy that's from the backyard. I'm going to have to get rid of it once I saw him playing with it. I realized that he's tore a little spot in it. So this toy's going to have to go. Um, but anyway, Benji Bear says hi and he loves you guys. Okay, I am so excited to share with you guys a fun and easy Dollar Tree centerpiece. You're going to grab one of these little Dollar Tree foam pieces, and then I'm using this little plastic melanin plate from the Dollar Tree. I think it's so cute and cottagey, picnicky. We are going to do a Fourth of July centerpiece, but listen, you guys can change this. Um, idea out for literally any holiday. Okay, I'm taking some of these little Easter Christmas trees and they kind of look like sparklers to me and I just push them in to either end of the styrofoam and now I'm going to take this wide Dollar Tree um, ribbon and I'm going to just take those branches and cross the branches over on the ribbon and you want to make it kind of like six to seven inch poofs as you go along your little center piece here. So I'm going to move the ribbon all the way down the center piece and you might want to do it on both sides. I only did it facing you all so you could kind of get the idea on it. Um, but you're just taking and l crossing the branches over on themselves. I added in some cute little white roses. We're going to make this into a 4th of July or patriotic center piece. So I took some of the Dollar Tree stars, I cut them apart and I just gently hot glued them and pushed them down into the styrofoam. And then I added this 
this United States flag. I'm also going to add in some greenery to kind of mix in and make it a little bit more summery. And I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree wired ribbon. I take, I took it and I looped it over on itself. I'm going to trim it off and zip tie the center of it and then add some tails. This is just like a total cheat bow. So I'm just gonna pop that in and hot glue it and bam. And I did that for each side. Now, when I was looking at it, I thought it needed a little bit more blue. So I'm taking this sparkly blue Dollar Tree ribbon and I'm making a bow like you would make a shoelace. And then I'm going to add that on top of the original ribbon. And I did that for both sides. Here's what it looks like close up. And I'm going to add some more greenery as well. I added another rose and then I added the USA sign to the very back and I just pushed that in to the back of the styrofoam and I also added in some hot glue. I think this turned out so fun and fabulous on a total budget and I actually made it for a friend of mine who is super patriotic, her and her husband, he's military. So thank you so much Chuck for your service and everybody out there, men, women, families for your service. God bless y'all and um, I'm just so proud. I love this uh, USA and tribute to uh, the 4th of July Memorial Day and all that kind of fun stuff. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm super excited to share with you guys how to make a high-end tray on a total budget. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree pizza pan and some of the 2X flat Rust-Oleum paint and I just used two coats on my entire pizza pan and now I'm going to draw lines with a pencil down at my pizza pan. Actually, this was a marker. And then I'm going to draw lines the other way. Now this is going to be kind of like a McKenzie child inspired tray, but instead of doing black and white checks, I thought red and white would be so adorable for summer. I'm just taking an old makeup brush and I'm using some Red Barn um, paint and I'm just adding it. Actually, this was a candy apple red paint, I believe is what what it said and this is just that cheap paint from Walmart um now I did do two coats on the checks and now for these checks they don't have to be perfect I really feel like painting for me is a little bit of therapy if that makes sense um so get out your paintbrush don't be afraid to mess up mine was not perfect at all but if you look at like the McKenzie Child's um, which is a high-end brand that the reason their items are so expensive is because they have real artists that paint every one of their pieces. So when you're hand painting something, pretend like you're an artisan and you're going for it and making something amazing. But anyway, I like the red and white idea. Um, because you can also translate this into Christmas. So I think this is super cute. It gives your table a little bit of vibrancy. And now think about this too. You guys could do blue and white. You could do yellow and white, really pink and white. You can do any color that you love. I'm gonna play a little music and let you watch me paint. So on my second coating of the checks, I'm using a little bit of this white chalk paint. When you look at the McKenzie Child Inspired Designs, they do have white and kind of some gold drug through their checks. Um, it just gives it a little bit of dimension, in my opinion, and makes it look a little bit more authentic. Once I had that finished, then I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this metallic gold paint and rim the edge of my pizza pan. Again, for the for the McKenzie Child's original um, 
works they actually have paint that has like little gold flecks in it i believe so here is how it turned out i styled it with my america the beautiful cup my cute little dollar tree lantern and some faux mu muffins you guys can get these on amazon i actually have some linked in my olivia's romantic home amazon store i thought this was a fun little fabulous idea on a budget and i would recommend taking some waterproof um, mod podge and sealing it or adding a clear coat spray of sealant especially if you're going to be using it it's going to be highly trafficked so anyway fun and fabulous on a budget For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you a super amazing little Dollar Tree hack. You can create a wreath using some of those Dollar Tree scarves. So I grabbed a couple of scarves in a Dollar Tree wreath form. I'm just going to hot glue the end of the scarf onto the wreath form and then twist it around the wreath form. I did end up using a couple of scarves for this project, and um, but this is so super easy. And you guys can even have your kiddos help you with this one. Whoops, sorry, that's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. <laughs> The next thing I want to share with you guys is how to create a super easy bow. You're going to take this ribbon and loop it over on itself. And I believe I ordered this ribbon off of Amazon. I love the blue and white stripes, but just take it, loop it over on itself six times. And that's going to give you a really nice big bow. Also remember to use wired ribbon. You always want to use wired ribbon. That's going to give you a nice full fluffy bow <laughs> and just go ahead and trim that off. Once you have that looped over on it, Itself. and then you're going to find the center of your bow pitch it at the center and you can use a zip tie floral wire whatever you need to basically tie off the center of your bow and then you're going to want to fluffy duffy out all those loops so you're going to take and twist those loops and i always say i love big bows and i cannot lie um, so just take those little loops pull them out and give them a nice fluffing so you're going to pull them out and fluff them as you um, arrange your bow and then you're also going to fluff them at the end of your project. The next thing I wanted to do was add this cute little Dollar Tree welcome gnome. It's the 4th of July gnome and you guys heard Benji Bear barking earlier in this video. I have him now sitting on my lap so if you hear him panting he barked himself into a frenzy. The Amazon guy stopped by to deliver a package on our front doorstep. Now I'm taking some of this Dollar Tree tube rope stuff it's i've always wondered what to do with this stuff but hey you can make a fun little bow and make it look fun so i just took some of it and tied it on to the center part of this bow to kind of just zhuzh it up and give it a little bit of sparkle darkle which i feel like we should have going on for fourth of july um, or patriotic holidays now i'm going to take and make some tails so i'm taking these tails and i'm just going to gently kind of loop them in and around the top part of our little scarf wreath hack trick um, and then kind of hot glue them as we go now if you can tell that the ends of my bows have little triangles cut in them so you're going to want to do that make sure you finish your bow off the ends of your ribbon especially if you're going to be selling your wreaths or even just giving them away or having them displayed in your home it's always nice to finish off those tails so i'm just kind of ruching and zhuzhing this ribbon as we go along i just hot glued it in a couple of different places that way it kind of stays on a little bit better and then i'm taking some of these dollar tree pre-made bows total cheap but i love having a set of these for every season here is how our dollar tree fourth of july fabulous scarf hack wreath turned out i hope you guys are loving it and get some ideas um, when you pick up some of those Dollar Tree signs. Now think about this. Maybe you're not into a 4th of July wreath, um, but you could make it for any season. So just pick, you know, something beachy or whatever you guys love, or if you love patriotic and 4th of July, God bless America, I do. Um, but I just want to give you guys some ideas too on how you can change it up. 
For this Dollar Tree tea, I wanna wish you guys how you can make a super easy little triple layered vase. This is kind of a hack. So you're gonna take three of the Dollar Tree vases and some E6000 glue. You wanna run the E6000 glue and a little bit of hot glue down the side of each vase. And then you're just gonna kind of let that set up and you're gonna glue them together. And this is gonna give you just a fun way to display florals or whatnot. And think about this, you can change it out for any season it's so fun and easy to do so you're going to glue them all together and then bam you have this fancy kind of vase now you do want to let it set for a while to kind of dry i'm going to take and wrap some raffia around this we want this to be kind of a patriotic like easy little floral i feel like crafts in the summer should just be easy because listen this weekend I have been um this last weekend I did a ton of spring cleaning I'm finally back off my ankle add in some Dollar Tree rocks and then some pretty flowers and you'll have a fabulous um little wreath but anyway so I've been doing a bunch of spring cleaning and now I've got to get some plants planted my poor flower buds I don't know if I didn't do very much last year but they're really in need of some help um finally got my grass mowed today I didn't do it. I had some help with that, thankfully, but I've noticed I've really got to get out there and get my porches, you know, rolling and all that kind of fun stuff. So we should have some fairly decent weather. It's still going to be a little bit chilly this weekend. Um, but hey, let me know what you guys are up to. Oh, also, I need to tell you guys about a giveaway. I'm doing a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. I'll leave the details of that in the description box below. This is a new giveaway. I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I thought I should, should spoil you guys. So these are just flowers from Dollar Tree. They're red and white carnations, and then some cute little blue flowers to make our red, white, and blue. And once the red, white, and blue holiday is over, um, you guys can change it out and put in some fall flowers and then Christmas flowers and change out your cute little bow. So this is a really fun idea on a budget and you don't even have to use Dollar Tree vases. Maybe you could even just save some jars like spaghetti jars that are all the same size. Here is how it looks styled in my little coffee maker area with some cute goodies. Okay, for this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you all a hack on how you can make a Dollar Tree plastic lantern look a little bit more bougie or high end. You're going to take some gold metallic paint. You can order this off Amazon or get it at Hobby Lobby. and just going to gently brush it on to your lantern. Now, the black looks pretty chic and wonderful as well, but it is kind of plasticky when you look at it up close. So I just thought, hey, let's try this and see if we can make it look a little bit more high end like it's been gold edged or plated. So you'll have to let me know what you think think about it. Um, but these are actually in the Dollar Tree Plus section. Now I am having trouble with getting the little candle inside working. It's a solar lantern, so I'm going to try to pop it outside and see if I have better luck. Let me know how you guys are doing with yours. I also need to pick up some ferns. I love doing ferns. They do pretty well on my front porch. What are you guys planting this season? And so let me think, it's getting towards the end of April. Is it safe to put plants out? I can't remember, I probably need to Google it. Um, I don't think we have any hard freezes left here though, where I'm at. Um, I'm in the Midwest, so let me know where you guys are at. Drop it down in the comment section below. And also don't forget um, to enter my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. So to enter the Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway, I'm gonna have the giveaway open for an entire month. Um, and um, so all you guys have to do is comment down below one of the answers to any of the questions in this video. So, you know, what plants, uh, let's make the question, what plants are you guys going to be planting? What's the first plant you're gonna plant for spring? Are you doing a garden? I'm not doing a garden. Well, I might might be doing a small garden. Actually, my daughter is growing some little sprouts um, like uh, basil and oregano and some little sunflowers and whatnot. I have them all in my window. My whole little windowsill in my kitchen is full of her starter plants. So I'm really excited for that. But I'm letting her kind of do it all on her own. So um, she's thinking she wants to do a little garden in the backyard. So we'll see how that goes. I'm also working on trying to get all the debris out of our little pool. We have a little pool in our backyard too, and it's kind of a wreck. But anyway, um, so yeah, let me know what, what are the plants you guys are going to be planting this season. Here's how the little lantern turned out. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cute having that dimension on it. Um, it looks a little bit more aged. Um, so anyway, and I love this little America, the beautiful cup. I get my mugs at TJ Maxx. A lot of you guys ask about that. And also my prayer cards come from Dollar Tree. So I do one of those every single morning. And I know you guys are enjoying that. Usually I'm posting those on my Instagram or my Facebook stories. Um, so anyway, God 
God bless y'all. I'm so thankful and happy to have you here. Don't forget to drop those comments down below so you can enter in to my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. Remember for all of my giveaways, I never send you personal messages asking you for any information. I will announce the start of the giveaway, which I'm announcing now, and then the giveaway will close and I will announce the winner um, on my social media. And all you guys have to do is email me um, the winning if, if you're the winner. So anyway, all right, here we go. Here is Benji Bear. We are in the living room and he has got his love bug scarf on. Um, sorry, it was a little bit blurry. I probably had like a makeup or food smudge on my camera. I film everything with my iPhone. So sometimes that happens, but he's wanting to choose a treat to share with you guys or not a treat, a toy. He loves playing with toys. Um, and so he's got this little toy right here and off he goes. He's really not great at playing. Um, there's my ankle brace. I still have an ankle brace on. I'm able to walk pretty good. Um, but anyway, so everybody say hi to Benji Bear. We love y'all, all those puppy dogs and kitty cats that are fans with Benji Bear. And I hope y'all having a gorgeous, blessed day. Can't wait for our next video and love y'all. For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're gonna make a super fun sign using this Dollar Tree calendar. I wanna make a little fresh lemon sign. I'm taking this $3 wood plaque from the Dollar Tree. It was in the Dollar Tree Plus section and this calendar, and it's the farmer's market calendar. I chose fresh lemons because I'm doing some lemon decor for summer. Really, you guys can choose any little um, calendar page that you would want to choose. I'm going to outline it um, to fit the plaque and then I'm going to Mod Podge it onto the front of the plaque. I love doing these, super fun. Now I will tell you sometimes the Mod Podge, um, when you apply it to a calendar, you can kind of see it, but I'm gonna share with you guys how you can avoid that or kind of cover that as we go along. So now that I have it um, cut and fit to the size of the plaque, I want to go ahead and trim it to make sure there's not a lot of overhang. And I ended up also painting the little edges of the plaque with some white. So now that I have it all fit, I'm going to add some Mod Podge and I'm using the waterproof Mod Podge. I may have got a little bit too much for this. Sometimes the wood plaques really are absorbent and sometimes they're not. So once I spread all the Mod Podge around, I'm gonna go ahead and add on my little calendar piece. I did have one little spot here. I wanted to go ahead and trim off. And I did end up Mod Podging the front of it to just give it a little bit more security. I'm going to add it in to my kitchen decor back behind my coffee maker. So it's going to get some traffic. Now I decided I wanted to add some greenery to the top. So I'm just adding in these little greenery pieces. These are also from the Dollar Tree Plus section and then some cute little lemons. Um, I did have to hold these on and um, just do it that way. You could also add in a ribbon and it would adhere a little bit easier than it did to this plaque but lots of glue as I go along. I love the fresh lemons. I'm so excited for summer, you guys. It is starting to get warm where I'm at. In fact, we actually had to pop the AC on today. Um, but anyway, so here is how it turned out. I think it looks super adorable. And then I did just use a tiny bit of white chalk paint in between the lines where you could see the calendar and calendar no more. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this. And also I want to know how are you decorating for summer? I like to pull in some pops of blues, some lemons, and would you all like to see how I'm decorating my home for summer? I'm finally up out of my boot. I broke my ankle and so I'm out of the walking boot that they had me in. I'm in a brace now and slowly beginning to get back on my feet and doing the fun things that I love. I was uh, down for three months, which is a long time for me. So anyway, I love y'all and I'm thankful to have you guys here and drop a comment down below and let me know what your summer decor for 2023 is going to be like. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can make some super easy little faux terracotta aged pots using some chalk paint. I'm using an antique white and also kind of a celery sage color. I'm starting out with the antique white and I'm using one of the little Dollar Tree sponge brushes in this terracotta pot from Dollar Tree. It comes two to a pack for $1.25. I think it's a great deal. I've been cruising Pottery Barn, just really scoping things out to try to bring you guys 
guys some amazing dupes and I'm noticing that they have a lot of, they're showing a lot of terracotta, some aged terracotta, lots of stoneware. So I just thought I would share with you guys how I age um, these terracotta pots. So once you get a layer of the cream colored chalk paint, add in the little bit of green. You could also use brown. And I did um, dab my brush on a paper towel so it wasn't like full force onto there. So once I have that done, I did swipe the inside. I'm gonna put some faux greenery in here. Now I'm taking a paper towel that has been dampened. It's not soaking wet, but it's just damp. And you want to rub off some of the paint. I do this really before the paint has completely dried, but once your paint's dry, you can do that as well. You could also maybe use a tad bit of sandpaper but to really give it that aged look I feel like the paint or the water on the paper towel works really really well so here is how it turned out now I'm going to put some styrofoam on the inside of here and then using this Dollar Tree greenery I'm just going to clip off some branches to add in to my little faux um, aged terracotta pot here I think these are so fun and they have you know greenery and pots on here on Pottery Barn for like 30 to $40 that look like this, which kind of blows my mind when you can really do this on such a better budget. And even when you guys are out and about, check at your local thrift stores. Oh, I added in some little rocks. And this one I did ferns and I'm trimming up the Dollar Tree ferns because they were pretty long and I just wanted to do them a little bit shorter. <laughs> and so, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those into here and then I added in some rocks and here's how I styled it on top of this fun book that we're gonna create in another DIY. And then I'm just adding the little pots in. Um, this book was super fun as well. A little bit of a challenge for me, but I still think it came out cute. And here is how those little faux aged terracotta pots look. I think they're so fun and fabulous on a total budget. And again, you guys, I mean, 20 to $30 for these little pots, definitely not what we want to be paying, but we can do these on a budget and you could even do these with your kiddos. They're so fun and easy. Just throw some paper down, grab some paint and have a ball. I love painting. I think it's such a fun thing to do and it helps me so much with, um, you know, any kind of depression or anxiety that I have. Crafting helps me so much. So you guys get out those paint brushes and get to painting and crafting. <laughs> For this next DIY, I want to do a thrift flip. So we're going to take some of these thrift store books and these are, you know, 20 cents at the thrift store. I just gather them to play and have fun crafts with. Um, so I'm just going to take and I'm going to hot glue them together. I used four of these. I think they're such a fun way to make easy, inexpensive decor. And some of them actually I've already read. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to hot glue them all together to stack them. And you don't really have to hot glue. Them. I'm going to just gently paint the um, outside of the book, the binder of the book here with some chalk paint. And my idea was to create kind of like a little bit of lettering on the outside where the binders are um, that was um, kind of plant and garden summer theme related. So from the Dollar Tree, I had a farmer's market calendar and I just cut some of the lettering out. And this one says plant uh, pull weeds, plant seeds. It has a little fun little garden saying, and I'm just using some Mod Podge to adhere the little fun lettering to the outside of it. Um, and you guys can get creative really and use whatever type of lettering you want to. So this one says pull weeds, plant seeds, and we're going to have to watch the rest of the DIY to remember what it says. <laughs> it's on my dining room table though. It looks really cute. Now I'm going to add some twine to the outside of the ends of my book just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Um, and then there you have that. And the next thing I'm going to show you guys is a fun little um, floral hack that you can do with some of the Dollar Tree florals to make them look a little bit more high end. So you're going to take some Dollar Tree florals, stack them together. I use the green flowers, 
a white lilac, a green flower, and another white lilac. And then I'm just going to take some ribbon and hot glue, some ribbon and twist it around. We're just gonna make like a little cute, easy, fun summer bouquet. Um, and you guys can do this with any of the Dollar Tree florals. And I feel like it just jazzes them up a little bit. And I suggest to um, choose florals that are kind of neutral or all the same color. Now, here's a fun little bow. You take the ribbon and create these little loop-de-loops. I'm gonna do five loop-de-loops. So you just loop it and pinch it and loop it and pinch it and loop it and pinch it. I've never shared this bow with you guys, but I thought it'd be a fun one to try. It's not really my favorite bow, but it's something different than what I usually share with you guys. So I thought, well, we'll try it. Now you can take and pull the loops out and then just tie off the spot that we were holding. And then you just add it to your little cute little bouquet. And there you guys have that. So fun and fabulous on a total budget. I hope you guys are absolutely loving it. I found these stoneware bases on Pottery Barn from $50 to $150, and we're gonna kind of dupe them using Dollar Tree supplies. So in my stash, I had this Dollar Tree round vase. I'm gonna start out um, creating my stone vase with some white chalk paint. This is actually more of a cream colored chalk paint, so it's a little bit softer than white. I just stuck my hand inside of the vase and using the little Dollar Tree sponge brush, I'm gonna sponge, sponge brush a light layer of the cream cream colored chalk paint. And I'm going to layer it with a little bit of green and black as well. But I'm gonna play some music and let um, let you guys watch me paint. But you're gonna do a really, really thin layer. You don't wanna make it goopy. You want it to be really thin because we're gonna just keep adding layers and it'll dry a lot quicker as well. Now I'm using a little bit of a sage green color. This is also chalk paint. The cream colored has already dried because I made such a thin layer and so I'm just going to gently sponge paint more or sponge paint more paint on another layer and this is just going to be a green color we really want it to look kind of like aged pottery now obviously it's not going to turn out just like the pottery barn one did um, because I'm doing my own version here and I'm doing it on a total budget but I hope you guys kind of get the gist of this I think when I go to the thrift store next time I'm going to look for some pretty pottery pieces that we can paint. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of black chalkboard paint and I'm just going to gently kind of splice the color on and then I'm gonna go back in and blend. So I've just got the black that I'm splicing on there to highlight and I'm just gonna feather, just gently feather blend it with my brush. I want you to kind of be able to see like it's got pottery lines in it, so I don't want it to mix into one color. So I'm being really, really gentle. And if you feel like you get it too mixed in, you can go back in with white and then do another layer of black. But do really, really thin layers and take your sponge brush and you know, dab it off on a piece of a paper towel. That will help you not be so heavy handed with um, the colors and just makes it more blended and muted and natural. I guess if that makes sense. So I did several more layers and here were my results. I feel like it came out really, really cute and totally on a budget. I mean, this was a $1.25 vase and then we just used some chalk paint on it. So if you guys have chalk paint in your stash or if you just have regular um, craft paint, you can mix it with a little tiny bit of baking soda and that will create chalk paint. So you can look up the um, measurements on Pinterest. I wanna say it's a cup to a half a cup. So a cup of paint to half a cup of baking soda. And you're just gonna wanna mix that really, really good. Um, and that'll give you that chalky paint effect. Again, on a budget, craft paint, baking soda. $1.25 vase and hey we have got some really cool faux stone pieces for next to nothing <laughs> fun and fabulous on a budget I found these artisan beads with tassels on the Pottery Barn website for $49 and I just knew we could dupe them using Dollar Tree supplies. So Dollar Tree is carrying wooden beads and they're carrying them in different shapes. So I chose this kind of chunky, different style shape than the round shape. I took two of them and tied them together. So now we have a big long strand of them. I'm now going to create a tassel. So I'm just using some Dollar Tree rope and I'm just going to 
to take this tray as um, my little thing I'm going to tie the rope around and I went around it 20 times we're going to create a tassel and you're just going to take and just put that bend that in half and you're going to take and pinch it at the top and tie that off with another little piece of rope and then to create your tassel you'll just take your scissors and scissor it and then you have a nice little fluffy tassel you guys can do this in different ways. I've shared with you guys different ways of doing these, but this is a fun way. I wanted to create a really oversized tassel, kind of like um, the one on the Pottery Barn website, but a little bit extra because I guess sometimes I'm a little bit extra. And then I did tie the tassel onto the end of the little wooden bead. And so for $2.50 plus our string, it's about $3.50, $4, five if you really want to push it, I guess. Um, probably not even that because the string was from Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree crafters section so we have about four dollars in this versus forty nine dollars okay it's not quite as fancy as the Pottery Barn one but I'm telling you what you guys <laughs> I will do this on a budget any day all day long overpaying fifty dollars for a beaded rope tassel I think mine came out pretty cute and once it's displayed on my little goodies inside my home I think it just looks just as nice as the part one from Pottery Barn in my opinion here's a fun way that you can create this look um, you can take this tray, another Pottery Barn dupe that we did in one of my last videos. To style it, I'm going to add in the candle and then my cute little tassel. And you guys, I just think this turns out so cute and fun. And then I added this little faux plant and boom there you guys have like a fancy look on a budget. And these little books were from the thrift store. I shared another DIY with you guys on some thrift store books but super fun and fabulous on a total tiny budget. <laughs> For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you guys how to create a high-end riser on a budget. So from the Dollar Tree, I'm taking one of these wood round pieces. This was in the Dollar Tree Plus section, and I didn't really want to do much to this because I really feel like it's a really beautiful wood piece. But if I use this, I'm using this on my dining room table, and if I use this in an area that's going to get any kind of water spillage, I wanted to protect it. Um, so I'm just going to add in this waterproof Mod Podge. I didn't know that they made waterproof Mod Podge when I first started crafting. I discovered it, you know, the more I watched DIYs and learned about crafting, but they do make a waterproof Mod Podge. I think it's nice to have in your craft stash if you want to seal things, um, because then, you know, if it gets wet, it doesn't get all gluey. Um, so anyway, they sell it at Michael's and also online, and it has the blue label, so that's what to look at for. I think I also have found it at Hobby Lobby. So now I'm going to take some of these little beads. I think I ordered these beads off of Amazon, but Dollar Tree is carrying beads now, and I'm just going to hot glue them to the bottom of the wooden tray. You guys could use wood glue on this part as well or you know a more bonding glue but this is just going to act as a decorative riser so it's not going to get a lot of traffic i think it'll be fine i'll let you guys know but i am adding this into some of my decor and bam we have a fancy riser on a total budget i added it in to my dining room table decor and just add these cute little faux muffins and some cups and whatnot so i think this is a great idea on a total budget and um super easy this was an easy craft so if you're needing some easy crafts this is definitely going to be a go-to so as always i ask you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite diy in this video and which one will you be recreating i'm going to pop in some footage of my puppy dog benji bear as well because i know you guys like to see him and he has some fans out there so for all of the roof roofs and meows and fans benji bear says hi <laughs> Okay, so here's Benji Bear on the back patio. He's got his little funny sassy walk. In his mouth, he has his little green ball. This ball is his everything. It is his most favorite toy. He loves for me to play with him with it, but he doesn't want to give it to me. He likes to just like, you know, play around and then I'll have to sit down next to him 
and then eventually he will drop it for me to throw it. As you guys can see, like he's got it. He wants me to play with him, but he does not want to give it up. Okay, so we're just going to kind of hang out here on my back patio. And uh, don't mind my grass. It's a little bit overgrown. I need to get that cut soon. We've been having a lot of rain recently. So here he is. He's got his little green ball. He really wants me to play with them or kind of hold it. He likes to just like push it up against my hand. I'm really not sure what that means, but um, he doesn't want to give it up to me. But I just thought you guys would enjoy this footage because he's really cute. And now see, look, he's got his hand um, or he's got his paw on my hand. He's got his little green ball, but he's still not giving it up. <laughs> he just cracks me up. Okay, so here we go again. He's on this side. I know he's getting ready for me to want to throw it. So give him just a minute because he does eventually set it down for me. Now he's looking around the backyard. He's got his girlfriend, Shushu Lulu. She lives in the house behind us. Um, He's listening to the birds. It's morning time in this clip. So just just a minute, he's going to drop it. Because <clears throat> now I'm just, I'm not sticking my hand out to play with him anymore. So I'm just kind of sitting there waiting for him. <laughs> this is his favorite ball. Okay, there he goes. He drops it, but then he doesn't really want to give it to me to play with him. He picks it back up, but then he gives it to me. And so now he's going to go fetch, which he loves. I'm so excited to share with you guys the super adorable summer wreath. This is super easy. You're going to grab a Dollar Tree wire wreath form and some ribbon and hot glue that ribbon onto the wreath form and then simply wrap that ribbon around the wreath form. You don't necessarily have to have this ribbon. This was actually $3 in the Dollar Tree Plus section. You guys could also just use fabric. I've done that many times when I'm creating a wreath. Um, I don't have a lot of florals for this idea, so that's why I went ahead and wrapped one side of it. So this is a fun little hack for you all. Take some of that Dollar Tree greenery and just gently lay it underneath whatever flowers you're going to put on top. I have these yellow, beautiful tulips. They match my dress, kind of. They're a little bit lighter, but um, they seem so fun and summery, and I just really want to bring a pop of color to my home. And so I hope this inspires you all. Now really pick whatever floral you have, maybe whatever you have in your craft stash and where I got these tulips was at the good old thrift store I've used them for a couple of seasons I really do repurpose and reuse a lot of my stuff I'm also going to add in some of this greenery I wanted to make this super simple and easy I just feel like summer crafting needs to be easy I love this love lives here sign I'm going to take some of this faux Mackenzie Childs ribbon I ordered it off of Amazon just look up check ribbon it's pretty inexpensive I'm going to take the ribbon and loop it over on itself four times that's going to create two Two loops on either side and then I'm going to trim that off this is an easy bow hack you guys are gonna love this again easy peasy on summer crafting this should not be hard and then you're gonna find the center I'm gonna add two little tiny itty bitty cuts on either side of my ribbon what that's gonna do it's gonna give your bow a little bit more fluffiness I needed some fluffiness to this bow because I knew I was gonna add a sign to the center which I'm not totally for sure about how I like the sign after I, it came out you'll have to let me know um, but I did it just go ahead and tie this off with a zip tie and then I'm going to zip tie the entire thing to the base of my wreath you want to fluffy out your bows and you're going to fluffy those bows multiple times the next thing I'm going to do is add the love lives here sign I just love the idea of that because I feel like in our home that's where love should live um, I'm going to take an extra piece of ribbon after I tied that love sign on and just put that on to create my tails the next thing I want to do is add dovetails to the end of my ribbon so you just take your ribbon cross it and then cut an upward triangle to make it fun and fabulous and beautiful that is the boutique finish on your ribbon tails so I hope you guys are loving this let me know what you think and um, also what is your favorite color of tulip I love to hear what you guys love I want to get to know you all and um, thank you all so much for all of the kind comments I'm so proud of this community this is a social media site and you guys can leave comments um, and let's do our best to be kind because Lord knows we have enough going on out there as it is
For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're gonna take one of these Dollar Tree wooden signs and one of the Dollar Tree plates and make it into like a little mantle shelf center decor piece. So I'm starting out with some of this uh, craft paint. I wanna paint the sign green because it's garden and it's spring summer. So we're gonna be looking at some pretty brighter colors and um, I'm just going to use the green and then add in a little bit of yellow to kind of give it some dimension. I've told you guys this before, but I really feel like painting is very, very therapeutic. At least it is for me. This is something you can do with your kiddos or grandkids this summer. So get out your paintbrushes and grab a little $1 Dollar Tree or Dollar 25, I guess, wooden sign and have fun with it. You can't mess these up. And if you do, Listen, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm gonna add some purple paint to um, my little watering can and then make this a yellow bird to match my dress. And I am using some yellow paint for a dimension and to kind of soften that green, I felt like it was a little bold, um, but it just gives it a little bit of dimension. So you can use white or you know, golds or um, whatnot for dimension to your painted crafts. That's a little note to self. I used to take private art when I was a little girl and I did a lot of pastels and a lot of blending of colors. So it's kind of where I learned some of that from. It's funny because I remember I wasn't super fond of the art classes. I liked them, they were okay, but what I looked forward to most was the candy bar that we got to have every time we had art class. Do you guys remember stuff like that when you were a little kid? The next thing I wanna do is take this melamine plate. It's just little plastic Dollar Tree plate and I'm going to wrap a piece of ribbon around it. I want to hot glue my wooden sign to the plate but I wasn't sure that it was going to stick very well so I thought we'll hot glue it to the piece of ribbon. The next thing I'm going to do is make a cute little bow at the top. So we're going to take first and make our tails. We're going to hot glue it to the center part of the plate and then kind of ruche it and hot glue it um, as we go along the plate. So you're just going to take and make like little folds basically and you want to make sure that at the ends of your ribbon are pretty. Now I want to make a super easy bow. This this is a super great hack. You take two pieces of ribbon that are equally sized and you're just going to take and you're going to hot glue each piece end to end and that's going to make your bow. Excuse my little puppy dog. It's it's after school time now when I'm doing this video and so he's probably going to bark here and there at the kids that are getting off the bus. The next thing I want to do is take and zip tie the center part of the ribbon and bam you have an easy fun little bow we'll hot glue that to our project and then you guys can add in some little cute florals i had these yellow tulips on hand from the wreath that i created earlier in this video and then i'm going to add in some greenery and boom we have this adorable kind of custom cute boutique garden idea the other thing i want to do is take one of these little dollar tree easels and hot glue it to the back and that's going to give it a stand so there you guys have that you can pop it onto any little decor piece uh or you know mantle or shelf or you could hang it you don't have to add the little thing on the back but i thought this would be a great idea for you guys on a total budget have fun with this and happy crafting For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how you can make a super easy little Dollar Tree sign centerpiece kind of floral container. So I'm taking four of these signs from the Dollar Tree, two are of the little home shaped signs, and then two are the little kind of lettered signs. And I'm just going to hot glue the lettered signs to each end of the little home signs. This was just kind of a fly by night idea. I've never done this before, but I thought what a fun way you can change out your signs and decor without having to change it out I guess all of the time so you can kind of keep it on your little side table put in some fun flowers anyway I don't know I did realize also though I probably should have put one more piece underneath because when I put the flowers in they kind of didn't stand up completely like they needed to um, all the way so just a little side note you guys can learn from me on that one so now I'm hot gluing these ends oh also I would also suggest to use a little bit of e6000 glue or some bonding glue that way they hold together I did have one kind of pop off in transit um, and then I did go ahead and pop um, cut off the little beads because you're not going to see those and I can use those in another project I'm taking these little dollar um, or thrift store tulips and I'm going to pop them down into here I think they're so happy and bright and I was just feeling some yellow today I don't know I was just feeling some sunshine and some yellow I'm so ready for summer you guys oh I feel like I'm just ready to get out on the lake where I live we have a lake and it's just beautiful this 
time of year. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so temperate and lovely. I'm going to go ahead and add in some more florals, some pretty little purple lilacs, some beautiful little white flowers, and some greenery. This says, you are meant for great things. And bam, there we have that beautiful little decor on a total budget. And again, slide something underneath it um, so it doesn't jingle jangle around. Also, I think I was thinking about maybe painting the outside of the wooden piece um, the wooden pieces. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Fun and fabulous idea on a total budget. Let me know what you guys think. And if you're loving it and are inspired to just take some little signs and make something fun. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can make a super little cute decor piece on a total budget. So we're going to take this Dollar Tree wood plank. This is from the um, Dollar Tree Plus section and then two of these little frames. These are $1.25 frames and then the cute little house um, decor piece. What I want to do is share with you guys an idea. I would actually do this. I think this would be so cute is to put your kiddos like little elementary school pictures in this, especially if you have kind of the cute little gardeny or farmhouse or just cute little cottage decor. Um, the next thing I want to do is add in some adorable little bows. These are actually from the Christmas time. So I just added them to the top of each spot. And then this is an idea of where you might put your pictures. I'm just using these little um, I think they're coasters from Dollar Tree. They say filled with joy, which I love. And you're gonna take, and you're gonna trim off some of this greenery and add that to the top part of this little house. I'm also adding in this pretty little white flowers. Um, this is such a super easy craft. Again, I'm gonna say this again, probably as all through the summer crafting session, which I feel like you know, we're now into summer crafting, um, but I wanna do easy crafts for you guys, easy things to share with you that you can just play around with and have fun because for me, crafting is really um, great for stress, anxiety, depression, you know, whatever. I definitely went through a funk when I broke my ankle recently and it was rough. There were some days that I cried quite a bit just because I, not so much that I was in pain, I was just frustrated not being able to walk and do my crafting. So um, wherever you're at, like get up, show up, keep trying, you guys don't give up. Um, I was in my boot for 11 weeks with my ankle. Thankfully I didn't have to have surgery and I'm still in a brace for another six weeks. And then hopefully I'll be released from that. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for all the love and encouragement and support. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I'm sharing it with you guys just so you know that my journey is just like yours. I'm human and I have just all the same things going on. Um, but anyway, keep going. Um, I love y'all and I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Didn't mean to get on, on a tangent. <laughs> Now for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys just a small painting project. So this is one of those little Dollar Tree lanterns. lanterns. Um, it's, it's turned out super cute. I use this green paint and I'm basically just painting it. So I guess I wanted to share this craft with you guys just to show you that you can do these crafts and it doesn't have to be something big, fancy. You can just have like a couple of little paints. These paints are about 50 cents at Walmart and then just a wood, little wooden Dollar Tree piece. I know sometimes when you watch crafting videos, you can't find all the supplies or it's expensive to buy the supplies and you feel overwhelmed. Like maybe I can't make it look like how it turned out in the video. I don't want to spray paint something or I don't have all those supplies, but really for crafting, you guys can just grab a little wooden piece and some paint and really have fun creating something even just small. Um, and it's so good to paint for your mental health. I don't know if you guys have kids or grandkids, but these are such fun projects. I know when I was a mama and my kiddos were young, we had no money. I mean, we were broke all the time. I was a stay at home mama. And I mean, I say that, but we had everything we needed. It wasn't like we, we didn't go without, but we didn't have money for a lot of extras, I guess is what I'm saying. And so I would have the kids, you know, grab rocks or, you know, I would save like little pieces of extra wood and I would just have them paint on it because sometimes just the act of painting, um, can just really, I don't know. It's just really good for you. At least for me anyway. I know sometimes it can be frustrating though if something doesn't come out how you like it. But um, another little thing I wanted to share with you guys is you can 
can save old makeup brushes and they make really great paint brushes. I do that. And I also get makeup brushes for paint brushes at Dollar Tree because they have really soft bristles. I don't really care for the Dollar Tree paint brushes because the bristles are really hard and they come out. But if you guys grab their makeup brushes, they make really nice paint brushes, especially for kiddos. And then the next thing I wanted to do for this little project, this little lantern, this lantern is painted in a spring summer color to match the rest of the decor pieces that I did in this video. So I'm adding a little bit of greenery to the top and bam, you have a fun little idea on a total budget. And if you guys are crafting, thinking ahead, you could do these for fall or Christmas as well. I know sometimes I'll start on some of my Christmas crafting as early as now, just because I go over the top decorating for Christmas. And so I feel like I'm always scrambling at the last minute to get everything I want to do. This year, I really want to make a warm, cozy Christmas. Last year, I did um, very whites and golds, and it was really beautiful and glam. So we'll have to see what theme I go with this year. I have no idea why I started talking about Christmas. But anyway, I hope you guys are encouraged by this video and this idea with painting this lantern and just think about um, giving yourself grace in your crafting and your life in general um, and go for it. Don't be afraid. Grab some paint and a cute little wooden project and have fun. And of course, Benji Beer had to pop in to the video and say hi. He is looking out the window. Um, Sis just got home and he's got his little ball. For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to recreate a Pottery Barn tray. I found this tray on the Pottery Barn website for $59, and I knew we could recreate it using Dollar Tree supplies. So I grabbed this $3 wooden tray from the Dollar Tree Plus section, and I'm using this antique white Waverly chalk paint. I'm using one of the Dollar Tree sponge brushes, and I'm just going to sponge brush um, two layers of the chalk paint onto the base and the interior part of this wooden tray. Now, the wooden tray does take quite a bit of paint, so kind of be ready for that. And um, you are gonna wanna give it a little bit of dry time as well. I did paint the interior part of the handle with the cream color and um, you also might want to use a little bit darker of a black to completely recreate this. Now I'm just using what I had on hand, which was some chalked paint. And again, it does, the wood does kind of absorb quite a bit. And then if you're going to be using this for more than decorative, where maybe you're going to put um, glasses on it um, that have condensation or whatnot, you're probably going to want to seal it off. I recommend the waterproof Mod Podge. You can get it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and it comes in the blue bottle. So I did end up adding two coats of the chalked paint um, to kind of recreate this. And I feel like $59 versus $3 plus your paint cost is not a bad deal. Um, I really suggest when you guys want to recreate high-end DIYs using Dollar Tree supplies, go on those websites. I love cruising Pottery Barn, William Sonoma, Mackenzie Child, some of those really nice high-end websites and looking and studying the pieces and thinking, wow, how can we do this on a total budget? So I hope you guys are loving this and are inspired. Um, and I will say that I'm probably going to go back in and do one more um, cover of the black paint. I needed to have left the white paint dry completely, but here is the finished product. I think it came out so fun and fabulous and honestly so budget friendly and it gives you that high end clean look. This is a great dupe and also great neutral colors with the black and the white for upcoming summer decor. Fun and fabulous on a total budget. I hope you guys are inspired and loving it. For 
for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to create something that's somewhat Kirkland's inspired. So I'm going to take one of these long Dollar Tree wooden panels. These are in the $1.25 section. And then also these cute little Dollar Tree houses. They came as is. I thought they were so adorable. I guess this is what Dollar Tree Crafter Square section is calling kind of the farmhouse style. So what I'm doing is I'm just very gently hot gluing them to the front of this long wooden panel board. Now, if you cannot find the wooden panel board, you also might want to look for one of those longer Dollar Tree signs. You can flip it over and paint it very easily. My idea is to make like a cute little welcome sign with these houses. And actually what I had wanted to do was put clips at the top to put, to put my kiddos pictures on, but I couldn't find any clips. So I'm definitely going to have to make a small little list for when I go back to Dollar Tree next. Now I already had out some white Waverly chalk paint. So I decided to go ahead and chalk paint the top part of the ha these houses. The next thing I decided to add to this little DIY was some of these Dollar Tree pretty greenery vine pieces. I'm just taking and gently hot gluing them in and around the little houses. And I just thought this would be fun to jazz it up and kind of give it a little bit of a springtime feel. This was just one of those garlands my sweet friend Stacy had sent me. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue those in and around the top part of these houses. And the next thing I wanted to do was add a little bit of a galvanized lettering. I had this welcome sign that also Stacy had sent me. Thank you so much sweet friend my goodness it's great to have supplies on hand so I'm just gently hot gluing that to the top part of the houses and then I decided to tie some little bows and add those to the top of the houses now this craft in this video is a little bit more crafty like something you would see at Hobby Lobby or um, you know Kirkland's or whatnot or maybe in a little boutique store I'm going to show you some more kind of high-end dupes but I thought this turned out so darn stinking cute and you guys could do so many different things with it I think it would be so so cute to have some kids pictures on here as well or just make it like a little welcome sign this is also great I'm gonna be trying to show you guys a lot more neutral colors as we approach the summer season For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can make a dupe of the rattan vases that are featured on the Pottery Barn website for between $20 and $50. So we're going to take a Dollar Tree placemat, and this is one of the woven placemats. If you guys have an old basket, though, you can definitely take that apart. This was as close to as an old bat or like a basket weave as I had. So I'm just trimming it down, and I want to wrap it around the um, side of the vase. I hot glued it to the vase and then here is a second piece that I'm hot gluing on here I also wanted to make sure that I measured to where the candle was sticking up above where the rattan faux basket weave was gonna be now listen this is not quite the pottery barn um exact but hey we're duping this on next to nothing so a dollar 25 for the vase and then a um, dollar 25 for the placemat I decided to do it on another one and this is just like a little bit of a shorter Dollar Tree glass vase so again I'm taking that placemat and cutting it apart it really seems like Pottery Barn right now this season for 2023 is featuring a lot of bamboo basket weave just really natural fibers which they kind of do anyway but i really noticed that on the website today as i was back on there i'm so happy you guys to be back in the swing of things um literally i have been down on my ankle for three months on crutches i did, did get one of those little knee scooters um and that really was a game changer for me i was able to cook dinner um and get some housework done but 
I've really been trying to let it heal up. I am still in my cam walking boot. So I have this giant boot on my foot, but I don't need crutches anymore. So I'm hoping at my next orthopedic appointment, they will let me out of this. And that is going to be on April 11th. So say a little prayer. Okay. So here is how they turned out. I'm going to add in some little Dollar Tree stones to the base. You guys could add in sand, just whatever suits your fa fancy. In fact, I would suggest actually using sand because the stones were a little bit hard for um, the candles to set up in well, but Hey, like I said, in my last video, I'm still kind of trying to get back into the swing of things and gather the correct amount of supplies. I don't even know what I have in my craft stash. So anyway, here is how it turned out. Pottery barn dupe, you know, 25 to $50 for these bamboo type vases. And we did it for a couple of bucks. I, I think it's pretty styling and profiling. Those candles are flickering flameless candles on Amazon. I highly recommend them. I think I have some linked in my Amazon store below if you guys want to check that out, but they're so great and safe for pets and children. You don't want um, real flames around them, but they have the same look as a real flame and they come on a remote control timer, which is also seriously really cool. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how you can make a super easy little Dollar Tree kind of fancy boutique bow on a total budget. Grab some of this Dollar Tree wired ribbon and cut it. This is about 12 inches and this is going to be a super easy bow, no tools required. And I'm going to add another 12 inch cut and that's going to be for our tails. So I have this cute little lilac wreath off to the side. We're going to add it to, but you're going to take this bow and you're going to, or the ribbon, and you're just going to hot glue the ribbon end to end. And that's going to give you one cute little loop. The next thing we're going to do is do the same thing on the other one. And that's going to give you your big fluffy double layers. Okay. So once you have that done, you're going to take and you're just going to kind of rush or zhuzh your little ribbon here together, do it on the other side, and you can just take and stack those together. I like to use a zip tie. You guys can use rope or um, twine or whatnot, but zip ties, they get the job done baby and they really are very secure and you can buy them in big giant pack at your hardware store or at your dollar tree so i'm gonna give my little cute bow a nice little fluffing here and i'm gonna trim off the back of that plastic on the zip tie and then i'm gonna add it to the base of this cute little wreath i found this wreath it's a darling little lilac wreath great for spring goes into summer it's it was in our dar dollar plus section of our dollar tree and it was five dollars which i think it's a pretty good deal for the amount of um you know greenery and lilac that's on it okay i'm taking another piece of ribbon and i'm just going to tie my little easy bow on here and then i'm going to add my tails on to that so give it a nice good double loop knot here and this is literally the easiest bow no tools required and you guys can use any ribbon i always suggest to use wired ribbon it's going to make your best bow and i'm so sorry benji bear is my puppy dog is scratching on the carpet in the background okay so i did also dub tail my ends so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just cutting a triangle in an upward direction on the ends of my ribbon. Please do that for your ribbon or cut like a little slide on it. It really is going to finish your project out so nicely and make it look really professional. Now Dollar Tree is also carrying these cute little um, string beads. They're already strung together. I'm loving it. I added that to the top of my wreath to kind of give it a little bit of a farmhouse flare appearance. Let me know what you guys think about this i popped it in to my little studio area here and i think it gives it just such a nice pot for spring i think it'd be great for an entryway um you can do a different colored bow the bow got a little large <laughs> for this wreath but hey if you guys know me or if you're new here i love big bows and i cannot lie my name is olivia and I love big bows. <laughs> so you can make it any size you want with any ribbon you want, whatever suits your fancy and floats your boat. But I hope y'all are loving this and are inspired to make a fun bow. 
For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna show you guys how to dupe these Pottery Barn kind of tall candlesticks. And it's not gonna be quite an exact dupe, but hey, we're gonna do this using Dollar Tree supplies. So I grabbed a Dollar Tree vase and this little plastic plate. I hot glued them to the top of the um, vases. And then I'm just gonna take some of this white Waverly chalk paint and chalk paint a couple of layers on to the base. So I recommend to flip it upside down. I also recommend to use a bonding glue like E6000 or hot glue. Now, funny story with this, um, you guys can't see it, but I have, and I posted it on my Instagram, but I have a cam walking boot on right now because I broke my ankle. And um, so I took my E6000 glue and I blinged out my boot using Dollar Tree Jewels. Let me know if you guys want to see a DIY on that. Um, but it, it wasn't a great DIY because like I kind of just sat on my couch and tried to film a little bit of it. This was like months ago when I did this. Anyway, I ran myself out of E6000 glue. So long story short, I don't have any E6000 glue to do this project with, although I did order some on Amazon today. I'm trying to restock some of my crafting supplies. Now for this um, candlestick, you know, platform thing that we're creating, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit like of a stone um, look that's kind of been the look it looks like on Pottery Barn so it's it's like off-white but it, if you add a little bit of like charcoal gray or black to it you just kind of take your brush and run it through a little bit of some darker paint and then just kind of combine it together and you can kind of play with it however many layers you want to put on there but I'm also gonna do kind of the same effect over here. So I'm just adding in the off-white chalk paint and then I'm just um, dabbing my brush with a little bit of that charcoal gray. It's kind of hard to see, but it is gonna have like some layers and you wanna do that with each layer of paint. So it's gonna kind of give it more of like a stone, faux stone effect. Anyway, and you also want to be patient with this project because you're going to want to let it dry in between. The glass is a little bit trickier to paint on, um, and chalk paint, though, works really well, but it does take a couple of coats. I will admit that. So anyway, here is the finished project on that. Not quite exactly like the Pottery Barn website, but hey, it doesn't cost $50 to $60 for these. We duped these on a shoestring budget honestly and I think they look pretty cool I think it'd be really neat to put like some sand at the top and to have a little bit wider of a candle this is what I'm working with now and I hope y'all are loving thank you guys so so much for being here I hope you're excited that I'm back crafting I'm going to do my best to keep up with this and also keep taking care of my foot I will tell you I'm going to have to probably be doing some rehab once I get back into a tennis shoe I've got quite the limp going um, so we're just going to have to play it by ear but I'm doing my best and I love y'all and I'm so so blessed to have you guys here thank you and I hope you guys are inspired to craft and decorate on a budget now I have to share with you guys a cute little clip of Benji Bear he is out here on this little couch I have in my studio and we have really strong winds there's been a lot of storms down south from us and we're praying for everybody down there that's been getting the tornadoes thankfully we are not <clears throat> but Benji Bear's scared there's a lot of wind we are getting a lot of wind but it's not anything dangerous um he loves to be cuddled so I grabbed this blanket but he just wants to say hi to you guys and um, the next thing I'm going to do is just plunge it directly down into my little bucket and this is super easy as well you can add in some little stones or rocks if you want to make it a little bit more weighted um, I'm just going to take some of the parts of the pool noodle and push it down into the bucket this is going to be inside so there's not going to be any wind that's going to catch it and the florals are fairly lightweight so i wasn't too worried about this tipping over um, now some of the plunger crafts that i have done though i will definitely recommend you add some stones into the bottom so it's super easy also to create some foam pieces just use those scissors and kind of cut off whatever you need and excess to go ahead and add onto your
little base. The next thing I'm going to do is take this beautiful hydrangea and pop that onto the top. And then I have these little bridal florals. I actually used them to decorate a friend of mine's wedding last summer. So I'm kind of using what I already have on hand. So this is a really fun little bridal topiary idea, or if you're just a romantic and you would love to have a beautiful floral kind of topiary tree in your home, this is a great idea. And you can also think about this. You could change this out really for any season. So maybe you're a sunflower girl, or you want to do one for Christmas or fall, really whatever suits your fancy, go for it. So here is me also just mixing in some more cottage flowers. I have so many different flowers to choose from. Um, you guys, and I'm always taking apart projects and putting different projects back together um, to show you guys different ideas and to try to repurpose and reuse as many things as possible. So I'm adding in some more pretty roses. I also want to suggest a little idea for you all. If you want to check the clearance section before the season is over on every holiday. So right before Christmas is over, I'll go to Michael's and look for their clearance items and they'll go up to 90% off on their florals. And a lot of these florals actually were 90% off at Michael's and they are not summer florals. They were winter florals. Um, they have a little bit of frosting on some of like the roses, but anyway, that's just a great way to pick up florals on a budget. So here is how it turned out. I think it's beautiful and elegant. You could always paint the bucket to suit your fancy and add in whatever flowers you love. Fun and fabulous on a budget. And I really hope this inspires you to create something beautiful for your space as well. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how to make a super fabulous little Dollar Tree planter table on a total budget. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab a planter and one of their chargers, and then just take the charger, add some hot glue or some E6000 glue. E6000 glue and hot glue will help it have a very staple base. Just the hot glue, it will probably pop off, but for video purposes, that's what I'm using. So then I'm going to take a pool noodle and wrap it in to a little circle. These are also fun to make for Christmas time if you make like little candy pieces. I'm just gonna wrap it up and duct tape it. What I'm using it for basically is for the centerpiece on my little planter table to create a beautiful bridal floral. So I just duct taped it on the end and then I am going to take some pretty florals and pop in to my little pool noodle. So this is basically in lieu of styrofoam. It's a really fun idea, especially if you need a big piece and wanna make it look like it's bright, it's like it's overflowing. Um, and also I would suggest to add some hot glue to the ends of any of your florals that don't have super long stems. So these florals are left over from a million projects. I'm telling you guys, I put projects together and take them apart just so I can continue to show you all kinds of fun ideas. And sometimes florals can be a little bit pricey. I gave you guys an idea earlier on how though to get inexpensive florals. And I always suggest for you to shop the clearance section at your local craft store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any of those places right after the season is getting ready to end or before it gets ready to end when everything goes on clearance. I got a lot of these florals for 90% off during the winter season, believe it or not. Here's how it's looking so far. Um, I love these pretty cottage bridal roses. This is a great idea for a bridal um, piece. If you want to do like some pretty little topiaries for an entranceway or maybe, you know, next to the venue where people sit or at the altar, just so many fun ideas. And here is how it turned out. I think it's blooming and gorgeous and fabulous. I hope you guys are inspired to create something beautiful as well. And you guys could always just use styrofoam if you didn't have a pool noodle, but I thought it was a fun little hack that you might want to utilize in your de decorating, especially if you have some larger projects. Um, styrofoam can be a little bit pricey, but that $1.25 pool noodle is definitely going to fit into my budget. Let me know what you guys think about this. Share this video. I am so thankful and blessed to have you guys here, and I'm so excited. I love bridal season coming up. I personally don't have any weddings yet to go to, but hey, you never know when I might get an invite. So anyway, I hope you guys are inspired, and this would be great too if you love romantic cottage decor, which I am definitely a fan of that as well.
for this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how you can make a super sweet little cross wreath. So from the Dollar Tree, you'll need one of their cross wreath forms and then some pretty ribbon flowers. And if you want to put a sign on the center, a sign might be fun as well. So I took the ribbon and hot glued it to the base, wrapped it around, and then added more ribbon at the top to cover up um, the little wreath spokes and then I'm going to take one more piece and just line the cross part. I will tell you I did run out of ribbon so I was just trying to make this work but I do recommend just wrapping it around the entire thing. Now I love this sign that says family gathers here. I think it's really sweet and I thought it would be the perfect um, sign for the center point of this cross. I think this would be a great thing to give to a mother for Mother's Day. You could also use it as a memorial um, idea as well to put graveside. I think it would be beautiful for my mother-in-law. I am adding on some pretty little lilacs and then I'm just going to zhuzh some of this ribbon up underneath the floral to kind of give it to stay and then add in some more little ribbon and little florals here and there. So these are really, really easy to create. Also, if you wanted to create several of them or they could be something a kiddo could help you with as far as the ribbon part and choosing some florals but I think they're beautiful on a budget. They'd be great for an entryway or just a little space. They would also be great for a prayer room. Um, in church this Sunday, our pastor was speaking about um, a movie called The War Room, and I haven't seen that. Let me know if you guys have seen that, but um, basically, I guess it was about a lady who has a prayer closet and who really goes in deep and is quite a prayer warrior, which I know that there are prayer warriors on this site. Um, I've felt those prayers from you guys, especially when I broke my ankle and I'm still struggling on my recovery process, but I want to thank you for everybody out there that has prayed for me. But anyway, so she had a little closet that she had, um, as like a prayer warrior room. And so that would be fun to add, you know, pretty decoration if you have a prayer warrior room. Um, so here's how it turned out. It says, our family gathers here. It's a cross. It's beautiful. It feels springy and sunshiny. And it feels like the perfect cross also for a Mother's Day gift idea. Again, you guys can always remember to change up whatever color of ribbon that I'm using on the project and florals and choose the ribbon that you love that is going to suit your project. So I hope that this inspires you, which is what I'm here to do is just inspire and encourage to be your creative self. And um, I love seeing everybody's post in my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group. Thank you for sharing and for your patience as I um, navigate all of that. So I love y'all and I'm thankful to have you guys here. I hope you're enjoying this project. Okay, so for this Dollar Tree bucket hack, I wanna share with you guys how you can take one of those Hobby Lobby grass greenery pieces, pop it directly into that Dollar Tree Plus bucket, and you're going to have a space that's ready to go ahead and make a floral arrangement. I chose for this little bucket floral to add in some pretty yellow tulips. It is summertime, and I am ready for bright, pretty yellows, blues, pinks, just all of those good fun colors, but this is literally probably one of the easiest little floral arrangements I've ever made. And the greenery pieces are actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and poke these pretty florals into it. Now, this would be something that I would put inside of my home. So if you're going to put this outside of your home, you would definitely want to secure the grass in there a little bit better um, as far as probably putting some stones down in there and also um, maybe putting some styrofoam so your flowers don't quite blow away. But if you want a quick and easy little centerpiece, this is the way to go. You guys, I'm telling you, it's so fun and easy on a budget and look how fun that is. Okay, the next thing I want to do now that I have my little bucket floral created, I feel like it's like a blooming um, little planter. So the next thing I wanna do is make a quick little bow. I'm gonna take this ribbon and measure it from my hand to my elbow and loop it over on itself. I'm only gonna do that about four times to make two loops on each side. This ribbon is a little bit expensive. I did order it from Amazon and yes, it's the same ribbon that I have in my hair. Hey, I thought it would be cute. It matches my shirt and um 
I think it pops against this cute little cherry apron, which a sweet friend of mine gave to me and um, a very fond friend. And um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take the loops and pull them out and then add it into this little bucket floral and clip, clip that off. I just tied it into the actual grass. I'm going to give my ribbon and bow a little bit of a fluffing and then add in a sweet little tail. Of course, the ribbon is optional, but you guys know me. I love big bows and I cannot lie. So I think this, this is a fun, easy idea. I love easy, fun ideas ideas for summer. I think that's what we need more of, to be totally honest with you. Um, definitely for summer at least. Um, so anyway, now I'm doing a little bit more fluffing. I'm going to add in those tails, make sure my grass is popped in there perfectly. And this is going to be so sweet for a centerpiece for, I think I'm actually maybe going to use this on my patio. I think this would look so, so adorable because I actually have a blue um, pillows out on my patio, or I just might use it in my living room. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it somewhere though, that needs a dash and a pop of color, maybe in my kitchen. I feel like a kitchen is a place where you need, can definitely get away with like pretty yellows and blues. So anyway, I hope you guys are loving this and are inspired to take a cute little bucket from Dollar Tree, add in some grass and flowers and a fun bow and have a fabulous decor piece on a budget. this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys a super easy little floral hack. You're going to grab a planter from the Dollar Tree and some tape. I used packing tape on this because it was a pretty wide planter and I'm just going to make little, um, uh, lines in the on the planter with the packing tape to make the floral arrangement. So I also want to tell you guys, I wish I would have used a little bit smaller tape because I did need a little bit smaller holes to hold some of these florals down in. So just a little side note, or maybe added in one more strip to each side. Now I'm taking these pretty flowers from Amazon. I have, um, found these last season on Amazon and I used them for a bridal decor. I decorated for a wedding and these are just so pretty and beautiful. I also used them on my Christmas tree. So you probably noticed they might have a little bit of gold glitter on them, but look at how easy this is. I think this is also really beautiful to do when you have fresh flowers. I think that uh, I really want to go grab some roses now that are fresh, but this is a nice little hack for any of you guys that are having to decorate and need something quick and easy. Wow. This was so quick and so easy and you could add in different colors. You could, you know, really use any type of flower you wanted. So as always, I ask that you all comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video? Which one will you be recreating? Also, don't forget to comment down below because I'm hosting a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. The winner will be announced May 15th. Please always remember that when I host a giveaway, I never email you or inbox you personally for this giveaway. I simply announce it on my social media sites and then ask you all to email me um, your shipping information. So that is it. It's super easy peasy. There can be some scammers out there that will inbox you saying you won something, blah, 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 blah. But that, that is not me. And that is not a real giveaway. My giveaway is for the Hobby Lobby gift card. And that is it. And don't ever, ever, ever give out your credit card information to somebody that you don't know online. That's another little tip from me. I know a lot of big creators have struggled with people trying to scam their, um, followers, but that is the rules for my giveaway. It's super easy. All you guys have to do is comment and I'll announce the winner that way. So I have one more fun little hack for you guys. For this Dollar Tree hack, we're going to use a little solar piece and one of those craft jars. They fit perfectly down into a craft jar. So I was trying to think, well, what could we put inside the craft jar for summer? We have these cute little moss stones, and then you'll have a cute little piece Look at how that cute that looks. I think these would be fun for a kid's room. So this would be the easiest, you know, kid craft you could ever do. I would grab some little pebbles. They have little aquarium pebbles from Dollar Tree and put those in the base of this so it doesn't flop over. Another thing you guys could use is some of the little Dollar Tree gems, um, especially if you have a little glamour girl in her room. Um, this could be like a little firefly idea. Oh my goodness. We had so many fun things when my daughter was little that we would pretend about fairies. This could be like a little fairy, could put a little fairy inside and make it a fairy garden light. Anyway, I hope you guys love this hack and thank you all for joining me.
And here is Benji Bear, my little puppy dog. Also, there's the ankle brace that I have on. Um, I have that on for another six weeks for me to continue my ankle healing process. But here is my little terrier, Benji Bear. He loves to have big emotions and he loves to have his ball and bring his ball to me, but he does not like to drop his ball and allow me to play with him with his ball. It's really the funniest little thing. If you guys have terriers, you probably will understand. Look how sassy he is. He wants me to go outside with him. So here he goes. We're playing a little bit of chase here. He's got his ball. Oh, here we go. He is directing me to where he wants to go. Still doesn't want me to throw his ball for him. He, that's his ball. <laughs> so then out he goes to the yard and he's going to run into the yard with his ball. I'm going to take him for a walk. I'm almost done with this video, but he's excited. Look at how cute he is. He's so saucy and funny, but say hi to Benji Bear. We so love thank you. you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous Crafty Decor adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia Flavius from Me Tech Home, and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that y'all not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me, I thank you all so, so much. Your prayers and love is so appreciated. I was telling you guys recently that I broke my ankle and I am back walking again. I'm in a six week lace up kind of shoe type thing, but I'm not in the boot anymore. And I'm making progress slowly but surely. So if you guys are in a situation right now where you're making progress slowly but surely, try to stay focused on the positive things and keep putting one foot in for the other. And maybe you're doing just fine in life and you just need a little joy. So here's your joy and hugs and love. Um, wow, I'm so blessed and honored to have you guys here. I thank you all so much. And remember to be kind online. We have a voice and we can use that voice for good. So remember, if you're behind your keyboard typing things and you're gonna leave a comment for somebody, please leave a kind comment for somebody um, because you don't know what they have going on in their day, what, what's been going on for them, and they just may, might need that little lift in their spirit. Um, and if there's something that you see that you don't like, just keep on scrolling. You don't have to leave a negative comment. So the goodness that you put out is what you're going to get back into you. So anyway, I love y'all so, so much. Don't forget to enter my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. All you have to do is leave a kind of comment down below and, um, you know, just tell me what you guys have got going on for summer. Where are you guys going on your summer trip? Are you doing something fun for summer? Are you having um, a family get together? Or do you love to barbecue? What is going on with you guys for your summer? So anyway, um, for me, I'm going to be taking going with my family and we're going to be going to Colorado. So we're super excited about that. And also I'm excited to get a grill uh, on my back patio. Uh, my dad's giving me a grill, which I'm super excited about. It's a really nice one. And um, so we're gonna be doing some family barbecues. So anyway, I love y'all so, so much. Oh, and I'm gonna be putting out plants and gardening. It's still kind of chilly here off and on. So I love y'all. Have a gorgeous, bl fabulous, blessed weekend. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye.